time to time, ASFN gets invited and asks for their involvement in competitions, in this case, switch techniques. And several of our ambassadors attended some of their evening functions in advance to get the anglers scratched up to get better results in the competition coming. The competition was held in the bluff just south of Durban with a fantastic turnout of over a hundred anglers and from the word go some fish were caught and resulted in a great day's fishing. Good morning guys, yeah we're down here at Aquila and uh, she's got a beautiful blue rod and she wants to try and catch a fish so I'm going to help her uh, get a bait. So Aquila, that's your bait board. Okay, let's get a bait. Okay, what bait you know? Oh, this hook is too big. You know, we need for a smaller hook. Where's your hook? Because there's lots of small fish around. You got prawn. Let's put a prawn for it. It's a bit frozen, but we'll still use it. Let's cut it up like that. Right. Got a little bait. See how you? Let's go put that in the water. I'm still learning how to. I will help you. We'll help you. Come. So Akila has got a bait in the water. So we'll see if she catches a fish. Start with something. My plan worked. Yeah. <laughs> so that's about uh, what advice I gave you. All right. This spray here it comes the first wave. Keep your rod down. You need the bait to sit uh, close to the bottom, and don't uh, strike the fish. Very sure. Eat the bait. Yes. Yeah. Now guys, so Sanjeev was battling to catch fish and I asked him to throw very, very close in show. Uh, in the dark and early morning, the fish will be in the side. I him soft baits, studying guts, the liver and choker. And it works for him. He's got three fish already, so he's the leading angler uh, so far. Vikesha got a nice copper broom. Uh, he seems to be the leading angler now. Beautiful fish. What do you catch on Vikash? Prawn. Prawn. And is it your first copper room? Uh, no. Oh, so you've been the copper room master? <laughs> no, no, just a second. We, we, may, <laughs> we need to get him on the show. He can teach us how to catch copper room. <laughs> but well done. So Good thanks, fish. Man. Let's get that back. It's a Daiwa Crossfire 4000. What is that Kingfisher? We've got uh, two Toti locals, Ray Marshall. And we had a competitor from Toti. And I believe you got the first fish of the day. Yes, Tell yes. us about your fish. Uh, I caught uh, I caught a black chain. It was a nice 26 centimeters early first thing in the morning. Uh, put a bait out. Quite a nice fly day. It was a good decent fish. I released him back again. It's not all about the guys coming down the beach. Uh, the wives come down as well, and you can see she's all talked up, sitting and watching her husband fishing. And uh, do you always do this, man? No, not really. Today I just made an exception. It's a Sunday morning, so I decided to spend it with my husband on the beach. Give him some luck to catch some fish. Oh, you're just going to give him some luck? Why doesn't he always go fishing and come back with no fish? No, he always catches fish. He always <laughs> catches fish. <laughs> okay, cool. Morning, guys. Um, we are doing a bit of a corporate day fundraiser type of thing for Switch Technique. Uh, we've got Kumar and the guy there in the blue. You'll see a lot of him in a bit. Um, basically invited us. We're going to come and help the guys out. It's all of their customers. And just going through, helping them catch some fish and uh, learn a bit more about conservation and everything. Caught a eel. <laughs> That's all that counts. <laughs> so we're down here at Anstey's, uh, fishing competition, competition hosted by Switch Techniques. I know Ray always gets it wrong. <laughs> so I'd like to remind him, it's Switch Techniques. Yeah. Yes. And we've got the boss man here from Switch Techniques. And he's going to enlighten us on what this competition about, or why they host it. Yeah, go for it. Over to you. Doing the fishing competition mainly just to give something back to our customers. You know, down here in Durban, most of the guys are really fishing mad. So, you know, we have electrical shows, we have functions, you know, to do with uh, products and that sort of thing. But this is really just something to, to mix with the customers, you know, in, as I say, in something that they're doing. And it's nice just to watch, watch everyone doing their, their little bit on the fishing side bring in guys like Jason, you guys that, uh, that know all about the fishing and give them, also to give them the, should we call it the tips and the information and things that they didn't know about, about traces and about the sea and yeah. 
Kumaran uh, Ganesh who's organized the whole thing, you know, got to thank him for, for doing that. But um, fishing is his passion and um, as I say, he's now, he's now sort of bringing it to that excitement level for our customers. I see there's a lot of fish coming out down at the bottom. The top side here is a bit quiet, but the guys are trying hard. You can see them running down, throwing, going crazy. So there's definitely a lot of fish coming out. The day is fantastic. The sun's coming up, so hopefully the fish turn on. Yeah, very Jace? good, Jace. Yeah, from us, from the SFN team and Kingfisher and Daiwa, uh, we're 100% behind supporting companies and private organizations when it comes to tournaments like this. So yeah, a shout out to everybody. If you need our help uh, for uh, bait presentation, tackle talk, uh, we'll come over to you. Just organize a, a group of people and we'll come and assist you. If you're hosting your competitions, contact us. We'll come and assist you at your competitions. That's what it's all about. It's about us coming out here, teaching you guys and how to fish and how to conserve the fish and the fish stocks. And that's what it's all about. Water safety, we, yeah. water safety, all that goes. We've been through it, so we want to part that knowledge. So yeah, from the Kingfisher ASFN team, 100% yeah. Yeah, and thank you guys. Eh? Thanks very much. Pleasure. Thanks a lot. Pleasure. Thanks a lot. I'm Jace. I'm Jace. Thank okay. you. Yeah. BG65, yeah. 120 liter. That was sold as 46. And you enjoying the rod and reel? Beautiful. That's what it's about. Fantastic rod and reel. Fantastic. And, and, and I see you even uh, slimmed it down as well. Yes, yeah. It works very, very well. Yeah. here at uh, Anstey's Beach. I think Daya mentioned before that we we are formed part of uh, Switch Technique today. Um, they're having their corporate event uh, and they're having a fishing competition so who better than to have our, our fellow ambassadors on the beach with them as, as the marshals. So we're really happy to be here with them. Um, so basically how the competition is working today is mainly based around edible fishing. Yeah. Um, so it is it is your bigger your biggest edibles and the most edibles kind of thing. Um, so how we worked it was um, anything that was under a kg was uh, half, a half a point, a point. Yeah. and then anything after that uh, over a kg was then a point and, and a bit. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and then we, per kilo after that. Yeah, yeah. per kilo. Yeah. So yeah, we uh, we are expecting about 150 anglers, which is which is brilliant. Big turnout. Um, yeah. And yeah, so the boundaries are from from the pipe at the pool, uh, probably about 500 meters that way. Daya and I took a walk there early in the morning in the dark. Uh, no one could see us and then Jay <laughs> summoned us the other way. Uh, so we ran back the other way. So, uh, But yeah, it's been a brilliant day yeah. so far. Daya? Oh, yeah, lovely weather. I mean, you couldn't be blessed with better weather than, than we got today. The sea is looking very tasty. Uh, got a bit of a chop, which is always nice for, for the edibles. So far we've seen, we had a prize for the first bronze bream. It's already been won. Uh, we had about two, two or three bronze bream out. A lot of blacktail, there was a lesser down that side, and then one or two shadja. And yes. there was a bogey prize as well. Oh yeah, yeah, there was one, one bogey prize, guy got a big eel, one bog one. <laughs> and uh, I see Ray's already got his itchy paws on someone's rod and he's fishing. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's see what the rest of the day brings. Right, we got a little blacktail here, so the bait and trace did work. Yes. Yeah. So now we're going to get this back in the water, I want you to hold it, put your hand underneath. <laughs> no, no, just, just give me a hand, give me a hand. Hold it, there we go. Let's take it back into the water. Come. Go back in. Thanks to Jace Governor, so I'm a six fish now. Very good advice. Thank you. Pleasure all mine. Fighter. 
Last week. He's only got one week. And yeah, I got a bit quiet here, so I thought I'd come and have a little flow. And I caught this little black tail, but I had a bite before it, which is a much bigger fish. And this one really took it down so deep, I'm gonna battle to take him out. There we go. Yeah, one lovely little black tail. That was a fight, eh? One half beak, you can see it's only got half a beak. Lovely nose, makes excellent bait for cooter fishing guys. There we go. What a fantastic turnout and over 70 fish caught with a sea that you can see is not that great today. But uh, literally over 70 fish caught, some nice, we saw some kingies, uh, we saw brine bream, we saw blacktail, we saw, I think there was quarantine, there were banana fish, half beaks, so I'm trying to think of all the species, but there were quite a fish, a few fish around. So, well done, a fantastic competition organized, and uh, I believe they're doing it again next year, but well done.